Hello everyone, Demon King here. Welcome to Sally Face. The story description is delved into a dark adventure following the boy with a, following the boy with a prosthetic face and a tragic, tragic past. Unravel the sinister mysteries of Sally's world to find the truth that lies deep when hidden beneath the shadows. A game I saw someone else playing on Twitch and I figured, hey, this sounds really fun to do. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. New game. It was just it was just like last time. Like just like the last time. Only this time I started in a hospital. Oh, hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything's going to be okay now. Come and see. What are you talking about? Come and see. Weird. Sound like my dad. Hey, you moved. Yeah, that's for that. A key. He found on the floor of the hospital room. Hey, that's not right. You can't exit out of brick walls. Three. Okay, so... If you mess up, you just go back. Okay. Any way to like know for sure which door I need? All right, so the one that looked really different was not the answer. Who would have guessed? What was the answer for this one again? Was, oh, was it O? Did I just miss like a massive clue of how I'm supposed to get through this normally? D O G. I don't know why a dog made sense to me mentally to go that route. Speak. Oh, to go meet the dog, I guess? Weird. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? There to life, kid, you tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Diane Fisher, 1948 to 1984. Love mother and wife. Man, we're already in here with uh, psychological stuff going on. Sheesh. Battery's not included. Yeah, I figured it was a death year. Dad, you're not my son. My son is not a murderer. This is your fault. Mom, are you? So you killed your own mother? Like, we're just coming around the bat with you killed your mother? That's when I woke up. And yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the boy? The body? Which one? The second one, the one from the apartment. Diana and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. <clears throat> Episode 1, Strange Neighbors. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while you un finish unpacking?
Oh, the bathroom. I thought that was like outside. Dad still has trouble. Still has trouble sleeping at night. After. There's some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. Let it be known, this is like the first kind of this game I've ever actually played. I've done little bits of like flash versions of these games when I was a kid, but otherwise, never fully done one of these kind of games before. I see you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. Gizmo looking really comfy, guys. Like, that is the level of comfort I need in life is cat comfy. Hey kiddo, decided to take a break from unpacking? Not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think of this place? It may be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. Miss Jersey. I know you do, bud. But please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple weeks and you'll be able to make new all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. Miss Mom. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. Trying to get into that too much trouble. Dad seems chill. I like him. Hello. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram, I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Show me some respect. I've actually done nothing disrespectful, you twat. Up into that room, please, business kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. It's a bit of a weird kid. I'm a grumble. I can't go that way. <clears throat> no one's home. I guess I have to go up the elevator. Around floor four. Okay, so we're gonna go to five. Just to kind of explore all the floors real quick. The floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. Locked. Five oh four. Hello. Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Are you okay? Shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? What the? It's a ghost! It'd be the work of a ghost. I was worried the bathroom, the bathroom door is locked. Oh, 502 is locked. One is locked. Floor three it is. No one's home. Hey, oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. This is one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. I like you, Lisa. You're really nice so far. I just met you, but you're really nice. I'm welcoming. It's warm. No one's home. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm in the I'm new in the building. Just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Man, that's a lot of stuff you got there, bud. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know, young teens and new a new generation of self-expression. Those young ones myself, I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and it'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collected many things. These things are like my family, so if you miss my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. 
Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. Great accomplishment is it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? Oh god. Oh, the look. That oh that look. What'd you just say to me, kid? My god, child, have you been never seen my glitter ponies rainbow spectacular? One of the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies, don't get me started, and mm, yeah. Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't forget it. So. Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in one, all in again. The place you got? My own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. Do you live here? Alone? Alone. Look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it's nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Be right back. And by be right back, I mean goodbye, loser. Charlie's place. That's an empty. No one's home. Hmm, I guess no one is home. Why is that one particularly sep different, though? What is different about 201? Oh dear, what a frightful, uh, pardon me. Let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? Well, all that takes place within these walls, sir. It's good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens no, I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about pri my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Goodbye. Farewell, friend. No one's home. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything went happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Trying to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating, investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. But, but was it murder? I want to know if it was murder. So long. If I'm not doing voices correctly repeatedly, forgive me. I don't voice act very much. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for treating, isn't it? Or to be good for nothing, kids are just bah, bah. Well, she was mean. <coughs> I like Lisa a lot more. She was really cool. She was really chill. Hey, kiddo. Can I, what do I do now? Just go to bed or what? Did I actually fully explore actually? Yeah, there's nothing over past 101. Explored everything, correct? Joel, explore the building. I explored the building. <coughs> Did I not explore well enough? Apologies, had to get a drink. Hey Lisa, hey so what's up? Oh, I didn't talk to her. <laughs> How long have you been working here? 
Actually, I just don't work here. I live here too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home, going on 10 years now. Seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do they say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff. I'm sure this building is well over 100 years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. Energy into that. And then what happened to 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Miss Sanderson. Who's Miss Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along, do, get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. The building haunted. Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison apartment for a long time. I've never seen any ghosts for go or goblins. That's just people over active imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. See you around. You say you're still really cool. You're really sweet, really warm. 10 out of 10. Best neighbor. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. I don't want to go, I don't want to go down there quite into that room quite yet. Yeah, sure. I'm looking forward to using this. Not. Oh, got him. You sure showed us who was boss with your sarcasm. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. He's moving to 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Door's open. Oh, nice mask. <coughs> it's prosthetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now. So I'm glad you like it. So do you, like, have no face under there, or what happened? We're not to talk about that. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. But my friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally face. I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes wouldn't, couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? Pretty strange, I like you. You're gonna get along great. <laughs> That's what your mom said, too. Well, there's no best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always said it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent-free with a maintenance gig. It's cool, though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. Like shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do not have my own clothing line, so. It's actually for this metal band called Sandy's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Well, that's got to change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a full few months. Oh yeah, there we go. Quality 10 out of 10 head begging. Where it looks like my hair is uh, moshing for me. Right, um. Oh, the music's gonna stay on. Crap. Oh, I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. Or I'm just have to hope it doesn't like mute this part of the game. Up in four three. Shh, not so loud, man. What what was it? What is it? The killer's still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. You high right now? I wish I was, man. It was some scary shit. What happened? Okay, so I was up in Miss Anderson, Miss Anderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in yelling like a lunatic. 
Know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. Try to calm him down before she could even get a few words out. He was cutting the throat wide open. I was shocked, couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Speaking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, that all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mom, but I trust you. You don't even know me. You know who did it? It was definitely Charlie. The big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints of her or anything. If you can tell the cops. I actually tried to talk to the detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word is enough. <laughs> Guy 103. That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just really, real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him. He'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Is it alcohol? Lisa's room. It's locked. Just gonna invade your bathroom a little bit here. That looks oddly like mine, just without sleeping aid. What the hell was that? Yeah, can we not have the creepy ghost in the corner thing happen? I like to not be haunted in the basement. Or no one will hear me scream if I were to be murdered by said haunting. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? S and T, please, and thank you. Yes, coming right up. Here, there you are, sir. Please enjoy. Funny smell to it. Definitely not drinking the stuff. Three was it? Or was it two oh three? I forget where the guy's at. Charlie. Oh two oh four. Is that it's a ooh, is that S and T I smell? Yeah, I just got some from Oh, I just love ass and tea. Give it here. My guy. Now you drink tea. That was odd. I was like disgusted yet intrigued. Ah, so tasty. So relaxing. And he's out. I almost would do us all for a second there. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, Sal. I was starting to like you. Dream of it, Charlie. Good, good, I'm glad. Say, if you get any more Addison tea, I would like some more. This has already cut me off for the day. Alright, let's get some more of them. Let's try this again. Got some more acid tea. Got some more tea from acid. Wonderful. Oh, so relaxing. I think I need to go like right here and do it. am I allowed to get? Like, where is the cutoff for a child to have alcohol? Because I'm pretty sure this is just alcoholic tea.
God, you drink that so weird. All right, I'm a little lost what to do with that one. Let's go revisit Larry and see if he has anything to say. What's this thing? That's a it's a police site scanner. I listen to, I can listen in on the local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? Story for another day. But hey, you're giving me a great idea. I make a fake call. Maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we could find some kind of evidence to show that detective. Something they weren't they weren't looking for. Pretty quick signed me up for the break in. Like I had to make the call call down here and uh, just mess with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to speak in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? On a bank robbery house situation, that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing they'll buy us a few minutes till they figure out it wasn't real. Gotta be upstairs when I do that, so we can make those minutes count. Use my walkie talkies to communicate during the whole thing. They can give you a heads up too, once I know the cops are coming back. They're pretty good, solid to me. We just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or drugstore. Be a little more believable. Mm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press the shift button there to call me. I did miss something. And that is going to be it for today's video, everybody. Thank you all for watching the first part of Sally Face. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the game so far. I like the atmosphere of the game so far myself. Hope you guys do too. If you guys really enjoyed it, make sure to share it with your friends to help me get the content shared out and growing. And I highly appreciate it. But for now, I hope, hope everyone has a good rest of your days and evenings. Until next time, bye guys.